Well, since its inception, the War Amps has proven to be a vital part of many people's lives. Its mandate is to provide funding for artificial limbs in both children and adults. Here's Rebecca Thompson with more on the program. Well, thousands of Canadians who are being helped by the War Amps were never involved with any war at all. But the War Amps is carrying on its 95-year legacy by helping thousands of young Canadians every year. Like Toronto's Marissa Papakonstanyu, the War Amps Champs program has helped her family with the heavy financial burden of prosthetics. They pay for all the legs as I grow for the three legs I get every year uh, as it goes on and it helps us because when you add up $10,000, $10,000, $15,000, that's $35,000 and that's when you add that up and you add that up over the course of a few years, you're basically paying for a house there. War Amps programs continue to grow. In 2011, the War Amps budget reached $17.8 million. Unlike other charities that dip into the public purse for funds, the War Amps has raised funds through donations. From the very beginning, we have been able to set ourselves apart um, through our work as an organization that does not receive government funding because our sole source of funding comes through donations to the key tag service. After the Second World War, war veterans started the War Amps Key Tag Service, where hundreds of amputees have worked. This one-of-a-kind program has returned 1.5 million sets of keys. If you sign up for the free tag service and lose your keys, the War Amps will send you back your keys in the mail. Some rebranding teams could one day try to modernize the name War Amps, but the War Amps say it's important to carry on the name. Well, that's how the the whole program started with, with those men in the war, the war and uh, it shows me how they've come back and um, they've had, you know, a few limbs lost in the war or anything like that and uh, it's shown me how, like, to, you know, push myself further. This is a unique Canadian charity that carries on the proud heritage of Canada's military and our war veterans and their legacy that is carried on to young Canadians today. I'm Rebecca Thompson for Sun News Network.